Uh, my name is Wildman Steve Brill and I teach foraging. I'm an environmental educator, naturalist, and author. Uh, naturalists do lots of things. In my case, I lead foraging tours. I write books. I have an app. I teach people about edible and medicinal plants and mushrooms. I go into history, folklore, ecology, mythology, Donald Trump jokes, and anything else that happens to come up. Okay, we have a medicinal plant here. <laughs> this is called mullen. <coughs> you make tea with it <coughs> and you use it for coughs. <laughs> Uh, I, was, I became a naturalist after I got hungry one day. Uh, then I started going to the library and got more interested in cooking than I'd ever been before. I discovered there were wild foods that are tastier and more healthful than anything you can buy. Uh, got what materials were available in those days and started exploring, uh, exploring the parks. So what dose is fatal? Um, if you eat too many, you can die of happiness. <laughs> Foraging is like a gateway drug to appreciate the environment and protect the non-renewable resources. Everything we're picking is renewable. The same weeds are growing in the same places, in the same parks now uh, that are being cut down by the millions by the mowers that we're also foraging for and uh, again this is almost 38 years for some reason no mulberry tree has fallen down because we've unbalanced the branches by eating some of the berries and there are always plenty of dandelions to go around here who wants to try the nut meat it's the white stuff just pick some out don't get any of the outer part in your mouth that tastes terrible here, you want to try picking some out? So I'm actually a uh, private chef, and I've always been into homeopathy, and I thought it was fascinating to come to parks, especially in urban areas, and forage for herbs and fruits and vegetables and everything that's right here, right underneath our noses, and there's all these people that walk around here all the time, and nobody even knows. Uh, it's absolutely thrilling to find a delicious food for free uh, and it's just a beautiful way to connect with nature and bring it home to the kitchen.